Hello, this is Andreas, and in this lecture we are going to learn how to use statistics with line chart and choosing the best trend line. Let's go back to line chart Excel January 2013 worksheet. We see a line chart. This chart has 31 points, one point for each day of January. So it will be easier to associate each value with each day. The feature that will help us is called drop lines. First, we click on the chart. Then we go to design tab and click add chart element. Go to lines, then drop lines. We understand that this feature works only on line and area charts. And two. If you want to try an area chart, click on change chart types, area, and OK. Go again to lines, then drop lines, and see how it looks. Notice that the plus icon doesn't have this option. And do again. If we have more than a line, like on line chart worksheet, sometimes we want to see the difference between high and low points. For example, this point with this point. Let's go again to design tab. Add chart element, lines, and choose now high low lines. This is a nice feature if we want to look the gap between two points. Click Ctrl Z to go back. Another way to add high low points is by clicking the plus icon. Look at up down bars and click on it. Instead of lines, now we have bars showing the high and low point. Of course, we can change the color of up or down bar simply by double click on it. A dialog box appears. With fill option, we can make the visual changes we want. For example, click on solid fill and choose a color. Undo and close the dialog box. Let's go back to line chart Excel January 2013 worksheet. If we want for statistical purposes to add a trend line, highlight chart, click on plus icon, trend lines, and right after the triangle. We see some default options, but let's choose more options. It's an advanced option and you must have familiarity with statistics to understand exponential, linear or logarithmic trend line. The most common option of this, especially if you are familiar with the stock market, is moving average. Next to moving average, we can change the period. For example, if you want to average the data every six months, we put 6. We can also display the equation or the R squared value on chart. Now go to line chart. The next feature is clear with someone familiar with statistics. It's called error bars. The idea is that sometimes we want to display a deviation for our values. To add error bars, we simply highlight the chart, click on the plus icon, go to error bars and press the triangle. We can see many different choices like percentage and standard deviation. Click on more options and choose Outlook. Now from the dialog box we can choose the direction and how the error amount will display. For example, let's put 20% there and click somewhere else. 
This feature is helpful if we want to see contrasting data and works on line and column chart, not pie chart. Thanks for watching. Let's begin.